You know, sonar equipment is just amazing. The technology that's out here it tells me the water temp 56 degrees and you can see all these fish down, down here. You can see the bottom contours. And you know, the question I've always had looking at a sonar is I, I look at these fish here and go, what are these? Now in a tournament situation where time is really tight, doesn't it make sense to, instead of fishing those fish down there, drop an underwater camera you know, Aquaview pairs well with the Garmin equipment, so what we can do is actually switch this thing over and go to video just like this. I gotta show you this technology, it's really cool. So look at these fish down here. We're in 16 feet of water, we got a fish here, 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 a fish here. Now let me show you how easy it is to actually view. So I'm just gonna go to AV gauges, I'm gonna go to video right there, and I've got my Aquaview camera already set up. And what I'm gonna do is this, I'm just gonna drop it to the bottom and we're gonna find out what's beneath us right away. A little mix, there's some panfish that just slid off to the side there. But what's cool about this is it allows you to see what the mix is of vegetation. And you'll start seeing, you'll, you'll see in just a second as we start running into fish off this area, you can identify what fish species are there as well and have a relative idea on size. Garmin's combo feature allows me to use the camera in combination with various types of sonar and mapping. The split screen feature has helped me become a better reader of sonar with which advancements like Chirp offer superb detail. Target separation today is truly amazing. I have been humbled. What I used to think were schools of fish I've learned are often clumps of horizontal grass. This feature has been a big help in you determine what type of grass I'm over as well. Milfoil is easy to determine as well as broadleaf weeds like cabbage and the camera helped me learn both of those. The camera also points out fish in cover too heavy to be effectively penetrated by sonar. Where there's bait, there's predator like bass nearby. Bottom content is also easier to determine. Rock type, well I now know what boulders look like but there are still surprises. So what I can do too is I'll go back home, I'm going to hit combos and I have it set up with a combo that allows me to track my mapping and my GPS. So if I find fish, what I can do is just drop a waypoint and go back. You see, I just dropped that waypoint right there. It's as simple as that. Hey, if you're a fan of panfish or bass, that ones that bury themselves in the grass, it's really hard to tell on sonar the size or the species or even if the fish are there. With the Aquaview, you get in these beds, you can run that camera right through the middle of it and see exactly what's in here. Hey, check out these bluegills we just taped a couple minutes ago and running through this bridge. Hey, I love to fish, but I love learning more about fish and their habitat. And by using the Aquaview camera, I can take a peek beneath the surface in a way I've never been able before. It's fascinating, it's fun. At times, it's even more fun than catching fish.